drug bust in the Bronx. Federal agents raiding a home being used as a fentanyl pill mill. I'm with news reporter Janice Yu live in the Belmont section of the Bronx. And Janice, do we know more about this bust this morning? Uh, yeah, Mike, uh, we actually do. We're getting a look at some of the uh, uh, pictures that from what was found inside of here. But this is the house where this drug bust happened. And it's actually just around the corner from a daycare as well as a school. Um, and again, we're getting a, a look this morning for the first time, the equipment that was inside this home. Now, pill presses were found, uh, these pills presses are used to make pills laced with this powerful drug and authorities say three full presses were found and another one was found in pieces. We know this morning at least four people were arrested. Now, neighbors say they heard smoke bombs go off before local and federal authorities wearing hazmat suits went into the home yesterday and inside they discovered fentanyl as well as other drugs and authorities say this is just another example of just how serious the fentanyl crisis is in in this city. Obviously, we're, we're finding it uh, in kilo press form, but we're also finding it in, uh, in pill form, uh, what the, the street dealers are calling fakes, meaning that, uh, you know, we have drug users out there that think they're buying Oxycontin when, in fact, they're buying straight fentanyl. Well, this is the third troubling discovery in this borough. In less than a month, authorities found fentanyl and a pill press at a daycare in the Bronx. This is where the four children were exposed to it and ultimately led to the death of one-year-old Nicholas Dominici. And then less than two weeks after that, a suspected drug mill was discovered in Kingsbridge Heights, uh, and people were arrested there as well. Now, neighbors say they really obviously had no idea this was going on. They say they didn't even know that people lived inside this home, but they were upset understandably so that something so dangerous was happening right under their noses live in the Bronx.